stream is just like yeah, I was good, I was leaving, but okay. Anyway, um, welcome back to Get Bit. I am still Soundbite. This is still Rayman 2: The Great Escape, and we're still having fun actually, because this is an awesome game. The Teensies are really in trying to. There we go. Wait, no, you didn't want the crown, did you? Heh <laughs> Okay, so where is Lee the Fairy Glade? Okay. This, uh, I thought this was always a cool way to give you like a world map. It's the Hall of Doors, I think is what he just said. And I'd be upset if I didn't have the five limbs. But regardless, this part is always really interesting to me. It lets me know all the places that I can and can't go and suck at getting to. And there's supposed to be a spiral right there. Oh wait, there it is. I was just making sure it didn't cut that out too. All these graphics and ROMs are just lost, and it makes me sad. But hopefully we'll see the teensy soon. Yay! I would love to save the game. All right. Wow, there are 50 LOMs in the Fairy Glade. Oh, come on, don't talk to me. I want to go in the Fairy Glade. I may enter many new worlds. The door my choice and press A to jump. So it's a bunch of mystical, swirly, spatial solar system. No, that's not a solar system. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, a, it's a universe? No, it's not a universe. It looks cool. It swirls. It looks. It reminds me of water. And you, like you mix colors in the water and it spins around. I'm sh Shut up, John. All right, so let's go find Lee in the Fairy Glade. Anyway, bye, Murphy. Okay. See, I really miss the swirlies. The swirls were awesome. It's a great pattern. I, I can't swim. I must remember that. Hi there, little butterfly. That's the weirdest thing. Like, it's a face on a butterfly, but it's not at the same time because it's what it is supposed to be. All right, I figured out how to do this. Let us go to a new adventure. I see something down there, but I don't know how to get to it. Can't change the camera. Okay. Well, I'm over here. What's over here? Alum! Excellent choice. Swimming and not advised. Maybe I can swim in some things. I ah, got your teeth, you dead son. Wow. That is some serious lag between the ability to the distance. That is not, that is a very poor glide range. Oh, I love how he does his little roll thing. Oh, you almost missed Raymond, come on. Do better than that. All right, we're about to do battle. Oh, no, we're not, sorry. There we go, now we get the door open. Maybe there's battle over there. Is there a lum? Yes, there's a lum. Uh -huh. Genius. All right, let's not fall as we go through here. Woohoo! Okay. There we go. Broke it open. Got another limb. Hey yo! Check me out. No! 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 Swim. Oh, I can swim. Good. It's just certain places where swimming is not advised. I wonder what's down here. I don't think I've actually. Dive, press Z. Okay, so it's basically just up and down and moving the control stick to move around. This is awesome. I don't actually remember being here. What is this place? Oh, you're a nice lum. Big lum. Come on, get some. Alright, so where do we go? I think that was all we had to do down here. Oh, we took out all of our air. Oh, no, there it is. It, they respawn. That's okay. I like that. Okay, I really didn't... I don't ever remember doing that. I must have had... I must have missed that. Oopsie. Anyway. Let's continue on. Are there going to be Globex's children? Yes, they. I've opened the door. Haha, <laughs> success. Hurry up, Rayman. We will save Globex. Green lums, if you die, you'll reappear with your last up one. There you go. I like that. Slip is sliding away. OK. 
Okay, swimming not advised. Again. I see that by the piranha plant sign. That's good. We'll have a nice adventure. Alright, sludge. That's why it's toxic. It's toxic. There is a barrel over there, but I don't know how to get to the barrel. I don't want to get to the barrel. We'll get to the barrel later. Let's go up here first. I did not just helicopter, did I? Okay. We're almost there. An ingenious way, using platforms such as these to access higher grounds, we're going into the next cave. Boom! Man, I love this game. I'm just going to keep talking about how much I love this game, because uh, you, what else do you want to hear? Anyway. Let me tell you about my weekend. My weekend's been great so far. I've been trying to edit some videos. I've been trying to have... Oh, that's not good. Those things on the ground are out to get me. Um, I've been meaning to study my uh, maneuvers. That's what I was going to talk to you about, my maneuvers. So, let me see if I can help you guys. Because what I'm going to do is, after my commercial and CFI, I'm going for... Woo! Oh, wait, no. Duh, anyway, I'm going for CFI. So I'm going to have to teach people how to do things. So maybe if I can describe things well to you guys, it'll help me in the long run in preparing for my own. So... Let's start with one of the basic maneuvers that we need to know how to do in commercial. Uh, which one do you want to hear? Well, we've got plenty to choose from, and boom, 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 there. I listed some of them. Not all of them, but let's start with the top one, which is steep turns. And I can actually do steep turns, mind you. Um, I was actually told that it was, I was, I did one of the best steep turns that anyone, that the instructors had ever seen. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and what you do, uh, you're up at altitude, you want to be at least 1,500 feet of uh, AGL, which is above the ground level. Oh, no, bad. What did you do? Oh. You want to be at least 1,500 feet AGL, uh, no less. That way, if anything goes wrong, you don't like immediately die or hurt people on the ground. That's more important. Okay. So you start out, and you have a GUMPS checklist, and GUMPS is just an acronym that we use to get the aircraft set up for the maneuver. Now let's say we're doing steep turns. No, stop! Ugh. So we're doing steep steep turns. We want uh, the gas to be on the proper tank, so there's a left and a right. Whichever one has more for what we're doing the maneuver with um, is what we're going to set it on. So gas on the proper tank. Mixture is full rich. Fuel pump on the undercarriage remains up for this, and by undercarriage I mean, oh I didn't need to jump, wow I'm a dumb shit. Uh, undercarriage I mean the gear, um, and what I'm flying in is a complex aircraft, so we can actually bring the gear up and down and we can adjust the prop, and all sorts of fun things. So the gear is going to remain in the up position. After that you set the power to 1500, and you want your manifold pressure, I'm sorry, Throttle controls manifold pressure to fi uh, 15 inches of manifold and pressure, and then you want your. Oh, sorry, I'm focused on not dying. There we go. Just fall down here. He'll never find me. Okay, you want your manifold pressure to be 15 inches, and then you want your prop to be at maneuvering speed. Or no. Start over. You have a throttle, co uh, throttle control and a propeller control. Your throttle control needs to be set at maneuvering speed, which is generally enough. 23 inches of manifold pressure is enough. Oh, look, I can grab onto the web. Giant. Genius. And then your propeller controls, you want to set that to 23 as well. So what we say is 23 squared. But when you pull the throttle back, you pull the throttle back first, and then once you pull the propeller back, what happens then is some of the throttle is increased. It's, it's basically just a switch off. Your manifold pressure control is regulated by the throttle, and then when you're switching the propeller, that's actually controlling your RPM. So you always want to do throttle, reduce it before you reduce propeller control, and you want to increase the prop before you increase the throttle. So you always want the prop to be higher 
in any case. That's what we say, like full forward on some of the maneuvers for prop, and then throttle is back or not back at all, it depends. So anyway, maneuvering speed, yes, as I was saying. 23 squared, so 23 inches of manifold pressure, 2300 RPM. Now once you're set in that, you want to be on a cardinal heading, and it doesn't matter whether it's upwind or downwind, and by that, hopefully you know what I mean, but downwind is with the wind, upwind is into the wind. So, you're on a cardinal heading, and you roll in to, for us commercial people, it's going to be a 45 to 50 degree bank. Actually, it should be 50 degree, a 50 degree bank. And it doesn't matter either left or right first, but you roll into that 50 degree bank, and you have to maintain your airspeed and altitude within um, 50 feet and 100 knots. Sorry, I'm focusing right now. I doesn't. Yeah, I'm still talking. By the way, um, so you maintain. Oh, maintain within. Yeah, very minimal space for screwing up. And anyway, once you do that, you have to do a full 360. And once you come back in your heading, you're not gonna roll out exactly on your heading, because if you start rolling out on the heading you ended at, you're gonna like over. You're going to end up over uh, over your mark, so you're going to miss your mark if you cor uh, don't correct soon enough. I might need a power-up for that door. So you want to roll out um, at least the number of degrees that you have in your bank. If you do half of that number is when you should start rolling out from the degrees in heading. So if you're, let's say you want to end up on a north heading and you have 50 degrees of bank, well you want to start your rollout 25 degrees prior prior to that. Oh, I actually got hit. That's not okay. Haha, get hit. Okay. So yeah, 25 degrees prior. What? Oh, it took it up. And there's a bomb there. What do I do? What? Oh, there you go. I know what I'm doing. Haha. <laughs> Crazy. This is the power I need. Um, so yeah, so roll out sooner than later. And then immediately once you're done rolling out, you want to go into one in the next, in the opposite direction. So if you went left, you go right. And you just maintain your airspeed and altitude and... I wonder if there's a lum cage up here. Bet there is. Yep, there's lums. We're collecting all the lums. And there's a cage. No, there's not a cage. Well, I flipped the switch. That was that was so difficult. Okay. I don't. Oh wait, no. I need that. I need that other thing. Cause I was supposed to go here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it if I don't go there. Okay, so anyway, that is steep turns, and I've, whoa, I've way exceeded my allotted time, so I'm going to have to talk to you guys next time. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Please tell me you learned a lot, because I'm learning a lot as well. I know I need to get better at teaching these things. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Look forward to the next episode. This is Get Bit, and I'll see you around.